Cawthorn is in trouble for these comments he recently made on a right wing podcast. Look at all these people, a lot of them that I, I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes, you should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. There's so much you could say about that. I really like the doll with the blue hair right behind your shoulder there. Listen, to tell you the truth, I don't even know why this is news. I don't know why this is a story because look, politicians and people in positions of power since the beginning of civilization, since before civilization, people in positions of power have loved to have sex parties, orgies, and get intoxicated off whatever mother nature has to offer at the time. Whether it be sniffing lines of coke off of the butts of prostitutes or, you know, maybe doing some opium or just chewing on some type of toxic seed that's in the environment somewhere in the forest. This is nothing new. People been freaky. People didn't love to get high since the beginning of time. So, again, we'll talk more about it, but it, th this is not news. It just is not news. Congressional Republicans are so mad at Congressman Madison Cawthorn of North Carolina, not for the reasons that you watching the show might be. They're not upset that he has been accused of multiple, by multiple women of sexual harassment, inappropriate behavior, allegations he denies. They're not mad he has suggested armed citizens should topple the U.S. government in a violent revolution, or that he once tweeted out an article comparing Black, Black Lives Matter to Nazis, because they are accustomed to a certain amount of inexcusable behavior from congressional trolls like Cawthorn and Lauren Boebert of Colorado, Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, yada, yada, yada. And look, out of all the things that Madison Cawthorn has done, out of all the things that the Republican Party has done, members of the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, out of all the things that we have seen powerful people get their hands into and gotten themselves into trouble with, it's this that the Republicans are fed up with. No, 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 Madison, you can't be going around, you know, telling people things that they already know. You can't be going around you know, exposing that we like to have sex and that, you know, we're pretty powerful people. And, you know, I'm like 67 and I'm rich, so I'll just pay for it. You know, I don't want you to expose that I'm an old man and I pay for sex. I mean, like, come on, like, but again, this is the Republican Party. This is what we're dealing with. That, that was the line. That was, that was what was too much. And it is telling that these comments, these are the ones that get Congressman Cawthorn in trouble. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy of California reportedly disciplined Cawthorn like a disappointed father telling the 26-year-old he needed to earn his trust back and claiming that Cawthorn told him he embellished his comments. Cawthorn embellishing? Psh. Here's what happened. Cawthorn's allegations on a right-wing podcast of shadowy sex parties got caught up in the QAnon updraft that these folks have been stoking for years, playing right into the Republican base's belief the so-called deep state swamp is full of these depraved degenerates. It's still notable Cawthorn is being so swiftly rebuked by McCarthy and others in his party, while, say, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene emerged relatively unscathed after she attended a white nationalist conference with a man who once delivered an extended riff denying the Holocaust. Imagine Kevin McCarthy scolding uh, Madison Cawthorn like, God, Madison, you can't go talking about sex and immoral things because we're about Jesus in the Bible and... American beer. And I'm not even going to get into that. But again, this is Donald Trump is currently hoarding over one hundred million dollars of donor money. He's he hasn't even given out a million dollars of one hundred and ten million to over one hundred and thirty candidates that he's endorsed. Right. He's defrauded the United States. Everything he's ever done is a lie. You know, you, you know, the, the whole pandemic, everything getting shut down, us being terribly prepared for it. I mean, the Republican Party is a complete disaster. The George W. Bush administration, disaster. Everything about the Republican Party, especially at the federal level, is a complete disaster. And the fact that Madison Cawthorn is getting scolded and scorned over revealing something that everybody already knew and been known for thousands and thousands of years, that tells you everything you need to know about the GOP.